Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Vicious here, and it's tutorial time! Uh, I feel like I'm doing a kid's show where I have the same segment all the time, but the point is, today I'm going to be teaching you how to split FLV files into smaller segments. It could work with other file types as well, but I'm specifically targeting FLV today because it just so happens to be that people that use XSplit get these uh, local recordings if you decide to save a copy of your video to your hard drive that are in FLV format and if you take a look at one of these let me open it up here this was actually kind of a short live stream for me and it ended up being two hours and thirty minutes and if you're trying to send this to YouTube later on and you're limited to only a fifteen minute upload obviously you have a problem and you're gonna have to split this up into smaller pieces or you might want to split it up in smaller pieces even if you don't have the limit so far I've been kinda of too lazy to do that and I just like to let people watch the whole thing at once but I might start splitting them up now if you drop the video into your video encoder uh, your editor I should say and you break it up like that that works but what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be wasting a lot of time re-encoding the video because all of your editors are always gonna re-encode the video and you're gonna lose quality uh, because you already captured it into a lossy format and when you encode it a second time you're going to lose even more quality so you're losing time and you're losing quality and that's very undesirable especially considering live streams generally aren't really high quality to start with so how do you fix that you have to find a way to split it up into pieces without re-encoding it basically you want to tell the file to break into pieces and the really important thing to do this is that I find a way to do it for free so that's what I'm going to show you how to do today so let's open up this website here avidmux.sourceforge.net slash download.html basically just go to google el google and type in avidmux and go to whatever website that you feel appropriate sourceforge you can go directly to their home site the cnet site download it and install it ABID Mux is a really great program. I've used it before in the past, and I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. But one thing I really like about ABID Mux is the idea that if you look at, this is basically your encoding right here. It's going to tell you whether you want it to be in what format. This is your containers. What, what audio codec do you want to use? Do you want to use AAC? Do you want to use MP3? WAVE, which is PCM. Um, and then video as well, all these different codecs. But if you leave it on copy, what you're telling the program to do is just copy what's already in the file. You're not re-encoding it. And that is the key to this tutorial. Format, I'm going to use MP4. And all right, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and go to open. And I'm going to browse over to where I have my footage stored. Now it's going to give me this little pop-up that lets you know that H.264 is detected. It's going to let me know that I can use one mode or the other. One can cause a crash or stuttering and the other will lose frame accuracy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the safe mode. For me, the non-safe mode has not worked. And I haven't noticed any issues with frame accuracy if I use the safe mode. Say yes. Yes. There we go, okay. So it's loaded up, it looks all green and ugly, but it's actually working just fine. Here's all your video coverage. So I got the uh, whole two hours, 32 minutes, 31 seconds, 0.414 loaded up here. And here's how you're gonna break it up. You got a nice little A and B here for your user interface, and basically A is your start point, B is your end point. Go ahead and put down an A point right at the beginning of your clip, and then scroll to however far out you want your clip to be split. I'm going to target around like you know 15 minutes or so and I'm going to click B and you'll see how it, it gridded off this little area here let me know that I have cut the video to that that portion only now when I go to file I'm going to go to save video and I'm going to name this I'll go ahead and drag it over so you can see it I'm going to name it uh, split 1-15 because this is minutes 1 through 15 also name it mp3 it doesn't or mp4 I'm sorry it doesn't seem to add that on automatically and then it's instantaneous because it's not re-encoding anything and now if I go back into that folder you'll see that I have an mp4 file here that is 14 minutes and 51 seconds and I can play it just like anything else 
and I've successfully split my video into a 15 minute segment without re-encoding it or without losing any quality. And what you want to do now is just repeat this process. Go ahead, uh, you go to go marker B and then mark that as marker A and then scroll out another 15 or so minutes. So that'd be around 30 minutes and I click B and I've got myself my second segment. Repeat again. Now one thing you might run into, I ran into it one time so far, if you're very unlucky and you pick a beginning or end point that does not have a, a B frame in it or whatever, a marker basically in the video so the video knows where to start and end, then you might have to move your marker a little bit to find a spot because it'll give you an error if you try to save it. So let's see if we get lucky enough to find one of those in this situation. Split 15 to 30. Yeah, there you go. The beginning frame is not a keyframe. Please move the A marker. So if you get that error, that's great. Uh, well, it's not great, but it's okay. <laughs> just find a place to move your A marker. So I'm going to go to go, marker A, and just move it back or forward just a little tiny bit. You can just use this little back arrow or whatever, put a new A marker and try again. And just move it a little bit until you get one that works for you, okay? So that's all you've got to do. And did we get it? Yep, see, there, I just moved it one frame and it worked fine. And you just do that until you split up all your video. And then you'll be left with these nice MP4 files that you can uh, upload to YouTube with no issues. And hopefully that was what you guys were looking for if you found this tutorial. If you have any other programs that can do this easily, just post them in the, uh, the comment section, share it with everybody else. The important thing is exactly what I said, make sure it doesn't re-encode your video. Uh, we definitely do not want that. And make sure it's a free program because no one wants to buy a program if they don't have to. So thank you guys for watching. This was Vicious. If you found it useful, give me a thumbs up to say thanks, and I'll see you guys in the next videos.